do you feel like during this process, most of those revelations always come with a certain amount of pain? <laughs> yes. Revelations for me always come with a certain amount of pain. You know, um, I get into this space where I think something's going to fix me. You know, I forget, mm -hmm. I forget that, um, that the drugs and alcohol and food and sex, those, those are all solutions to the way I feel about myself and the way that I think, the way that I view the world. And so the way that I view the world, <clears throat> depending on where I'm at spiritually, will determine the way that I behave in the, in the natural world. And so I'll go through and I'll, I'll, I'll retake my will and I'll, I'll slowly but surely start taking back my selfishness and self-centered nature and then self-pity will fit, sit in and, and I'll start feeling like I deserve something, you know, that's, that's been the history of the disease that lies between my ears for me. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I think that we can get to a place where we're doing pretty good and running on just, just cruise control throughout just checking boxes. Right. You know, we were talking about that before the show because we get here in, in such a great amount of pain and confusion about our lives. And we're so discombobulated on how we ended up in a place like recovery, you know, whether it's treatment or detox or a 12 step meeting or a therapist couch or something, we end up in this place based in and, and centered around some sort of mental anguish usually right. and our know, head's still spinning it's, when it's we just first it's just here. out of control and, yeah. and we gain a little bit of serenity through you know being well heard or or hearing a solution for the first time and then like for me i get addicted to that solution you know and so i'll, I'll go balls in and, and just do all this stuff as fast as i can i'll go to as many meetings as i can i'll talk to as many alcoholics as i can i'll go to um, all these conventions and I'll listen to all these tapes and I'll take in as much information as I can and I'll, I'll alcoholically recover, it, you know, like I'll, more, I'll, more, I'll more. compulsively recover. Yeah. And <clears throat> as the gifts of that stuff start coming back in, um, my plate gets really full and I, and yeah. I forget what I need to, how to, how to prioritize. Mm. Right. And so I'll just start checking boxes cause I'll know that my insurance policy is, uh, meetings, you know, talking with other alcoholics, one-on-one -on -one work with another alcoholic, one-on-one, -on -one, like me and my sponsor and some type of spiritual work right now, it's the 12 steps again, you know, and, and, um, I'm on, I'm on the four step. And the reason that, that I went back to that is because I, I did all the things that I just said. I, I, I let go of prayer. I let go of a connection with a power greater than myself. Um, I just went to meetings. Um, I stopped contributing. I was going there to see what I could say and show everybody how well recovered I was. And it, it wasn't from a place of intentional ego. It was coming from a place of, of a confusing alcoholism, mm -hmm. untreated alcoholism going, okay, you need to go to this place show up so that everybody can see how recovered you are and don't worry about the ramifications or the consequences of living in untreated alcoholism, which is a state of being that's, that's living in selfishness, self-centered pity, fear, resentment, dishonesty, all those things creep back in. And, and I end up in this place where I'm having to surrender again and surrender in a new way. And I'm willing to do that because, um, this last go around, with the insanity that ensued through getting COVID and being a business, you know, all the things that you just said, like we have all these new levels of success and living and, and everything's going a certain way and, it, and it's feeling pretty good. And I feel like, well, I can kind of do some of this stuff on my own. Mm -hmm. I end up in this place of fear and I forget what the real solution is, which is surrender. Yeah. And as more gets revealed, I'm able to handle this stuff without picking up. 